Hello, I'd like to talk about the infrared facility on Trigger Smart. As you can see, the setup is fairly simple, just two cables going from the control box into Trigger, Trigger Smart infrared transmitter and receiver. You can see here on the sensitivity control it's set right down at about 11 o'clock and it still works fine as you can see it's no problem at all. You can rotate the control right round to 3 o'clock and this becomes more sensitive to very small ob objects so it really doesn't matter too much where this control is set. If you have no signal which I'll demonstrate by changing the angle of the receiver you can see the sensitivity light comes on immediately and you will find that the uh, we have to rotate right round to about uh, 9 or 10 o'clock before the light goes out. This shows there is no signal available so the, the beam is actually going from there into there so that doesn't help us at all. So to prove we have a good signal we rotate the sensitivity up say to about two o'clock it doesn't really matter too much and we just turn it around until we get the signal. Now whether you're six inches or six feet it doesn't really matter that sensitivity uh, position won't really change. So I say to actually get the thing very very sensitive we can turn this up but well, obviously if you turn it up too much it will force trigger as you can see here the camera keeps force triggering that's what we don't want to do so just back it off uh, quite a lot that is the infrared transmitter and receiver if you've got a problem we need to check a few things firstly we need to check whether there is actually an infrared transmitter beam to do this you can actually look down the beam and you can see there is a light very 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 small glowing red light that shows there is an infrared transmitter being transmitted if I disconnect this you'll see nothing so uh, we, we plug this back in again and we can see the light again similarly if we actually have the thing off of infrared position again no infrared transmitter light so we have to have it in the infrared position this goes for the receiver as well uh, the receiver must have the infrared switch there infrared switch into the infrared position as opposed to sound or LIS so let's just put this back again so we can very very quickly check whether we have signal or not and there's lots of signal in abundance there's really no, no problem at all if we want to photograph small objects we can use the baffle which is this little thing here and we can put this into the receiver forgive me while well, the trigger smart goes mad that's it and now you can see it works just as well although the degree is only two degrees so it's a very very narrow pane but again as I'm moving it I'm moving it way out of your your range but you can see it works fine let's put it back again for demonstration purposes there we go so now we can actually try and capture very small objects I have a very very small screw here and I can just drop it through the beam and you can see it worked first time there's no delay on there I can just swing this screwdriver through and you can see as fast as you like and it, it, it will always work there you go so that's how the infrared works to recap if you're having problems check there is an infrared glow from the uh, transmitter check that all switches I, the switch on the receiver and the transmitter and also importantly the back of the, the uh, MCT1 is in the infrared position otherwise you won't obviously get a signal let's just uh, do this again 
So that's the infrared system. If you have a fault, we need to check to firstly make sure that you have the glow. Secondly, we ha have to check the switches. And if you still uh, cannot get it working, it could be, just could be, a faulty cable. There is another uh, fault scenario as well, which doesn't often happen, on the back of each module, including the controller, there is two sockets. You can just change it to the other socket just to eliminate that we don't have um, a socket which is, is not working. It's unlikely but that's another cause for concern possibly. So that is your introduction to Trigger Smart Infrared.